Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine Part 2, I'm pretty sure we're on now, guys. Or The Witcher 3 Part, I guess, like, 54. God, we've, we've done a lot of these. But no, guys, we are back with The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We did some amazing stuff last time. We got a vineyard, and we're in an amazing place. I mean, look at this place, guys. Look at where our current home is. Or I guess our just our new home. Our home? We don't really have a home. I, I guess Care Morn, kind of, but you know what I mean. We got, we got a lovely little vineyard here. Right, well, before we get into today's Witcher 3 part, I just want to show you guys one thing. I'm going to play a clip now, and it's something I didn't do last time because I didn't want to, um, I just, uh, let's call it cheese a fight. Even though it is a mechanic and all the rest, I just think it makes it way too easy. But, um, yeah, I'll show you guys something pretty fun, and then we'll be right back here to carry on with today's part. <laughs> I didn't want to do that because I think it makes the fight too easy and I was sort of, um, I guess so caught up in it I didn't really even talk about it, but yeah, that's something you can actually do to, um, to kill a Gol- Goliant? Goliat? I always forget how to say his name. You get a little achievement for it too, it's like a, like an epic achievement or something. But no, yeah, I, uh, I just thought I'd show you that, guys, because it's something that I guess, I get, yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting, it's definitely a cool little mechanic, so basically, crossbow him in the eye and he just immediately dies. Kind of interesting. Right, anyway. Let's carry on. So, what is it I'm gonna do today? I have an idea, guys. I have plans, I have many plans. What I was gonna do was actually try and restore Cova Bianco a bit more, but I think you can only restore it further once you have, um, um, got the current things in, like the grindstone and the armor's table. And, um, I think you have to, like, wait a day or something for that, so I thought I might take the opportunity to instead do something else. And it's something that I talked about last time, but obviously I, I only just hit the level, I think, as the part ended. So, um, what I want to do is I want to get the Manticore armor, and I want to prioritize that before anything else. Because I want to get that armor, I want to wear it, and I want to just have this full blood and wine thing. Okay, all these guys are talking, it's confusing. I've actually changed the lighting mod slightly. It's, um, I, I got some, uh, Feedback on it, and obviously it's it's a little bit lighter or uh, whiter, I guess you could call it, like a whiter sort of um, effect than the yellow normal Tussar, and that's just because I kind of like it a bit more, and obviously this playthrough is meant to be sort of personal taste, all that, and um, it's just something I quite liked, and I don't mind the default yellow one, I think that's quite nice too, I just, uh, I don't know, it just, it, it's, it looks quite nice to me, it's like a fairy tale. Although it is quite dark indoors, but it turns out we can actually do something for that, guys. Something I have not done the entire playthrough, and I don't know why. I, I honestly don't know why I have not done this, but look what we can do. We, we can have a torch. We, we can have a torch. I don't know why I haven't done it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to go and get this, this Manticore armor as soon as possible. And I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in town. There's like a how we start the quest. I think even if we go to the notice board, we can probably get it. Um, and I'd quite like to just ride in. So I'm gonna go from the tawny grounds. Yeah, I think that's the best- the best place. No, I'm very, very happy to be playing Blood of Mine today. I think Blood of Mine is just amazing. It's so awesome. I had such a good time last time. Just looking around Tucson, having a little ride around on Roach. I might just walk. Look at that view. Yeah, so it is a little bit different to the other one, although I, I will admit it is actually getting quite late in the game, so it is a little bit darker than normal. It looks very similar to my other one, I just think it has a little bit more colour and a little bit more fairy tale esque It looks basically the same as the other one. It looks pretty much the same. I just think, I don't know, I think it was a little bit more vibrant and I kind of liked that. But honestly, it was such a minor thing, I was just doing it in my spare time. I was actually looking into the adaptive brightness thing I talked about a long time ago. And I'm still considering whether to turn it on, because it would just make it brighter in the places where it's really dark. And it only kicks in then, it's very sort of like, you don't even notice it really. Um, but the problem is, is then I'd have to have this thing on the whole time and it might make it more laggy. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Where have we made it to? We made it to Cooper's Gate. Or is it Copper's Gate? It must be Copper's Gate. I almost want to Google it, because I, I genuinely... I feel like I'm being dumb. Look at that view. Look at that view. Yeah, I mean, the reason I'm unsure about the pronunciation is it obviously is spelt like Cooper's, like Cooper's Gate. But I always wonder if it's like Copper, because I think it's associated with some sort of guild. Um, so we'll see. Oh, look where we are. Look at that view! Guys, we're in Beauclair. We're in Beauclair. Oh, but I, I can't be looking around too much. I want to get this Manticore armor, and then I can properly explore this amazing place. We'll have a look as we go, though, of course. Oh. 
Where where am I going? Um, I think I've got to go like down there, but I, I kind of just walk up this. I want to have a little look at this view up here. A little look. Just come on. We can have a little one, can't we? Oh, look at it. Est est force in the veins of Tucson. Oh my god. Isn't this just amazing? There's like a fountain. Look how amazing this is. I guess we rode through here before, so we didn't have a proper look. God, Beauclair is a little bit more um, system intensive. <laughs> Could definitely feel it a tiny bit at points. It's not too bad though, it's just if I run very What's quickly or something. Not too bothered. Ah, oh, look at the I oh, sorry, I just oh look at that. A beast like that probably has no one to So I'm assuming the, the druids will be to the north, no? Something like that. Okay, well I I don't know. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Like as in within the books. Okay. Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Stamp says postage paid to get lost. Hear your tip. Um, we'll pay him. I think we will pay him. I, th I think it's fair enough. It's kind of hard to find Geralt. You know, we, we do a lot of wandering around. I think you only call us because we've just been sort of sightseeing. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I know, obviously I know who the letter's from, guys. I cannot wait to uh, read it. There's a lot of people just in the shot of this, just stood around. Look at that guy in the yellow hat. I don't know what he's doing. What's this person doing? I'm not... Okay, right, here's your tip. I'll give him the tip. Here, and thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be off surface again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Mm. Professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Sounds very much like it's worth looking into, Geralt. Okay. Oh, Yennefer. We haven't heard her voice in such a long time. Dear oh yeah, this is literally what we just read. How does she know about us coming here for the wine festival, guys? Um, that's my um deed. That's the clue. This riddle, by the way, I'm going to be honest, guys, after that riddle, after I finished recording the part, I was like, I, I don't get it. I, I'm not going to be dumb here. I feel like it probably makes more sense in Polish. That's all I can think. Because I, I was listening to it, I was like, how the hell did he get greenhouse or house from head of hard cheese? I was like, a riddle is not, that's like a, that's like a, like a, like a, like a, like a word puzzle. I don't know how to, what, it, what it would be called, I've forgotten, but um, it's not really a riddle. <laughs> Although, yet again... I could just be dumb. <laughs> I was like, what? How did he get a greenhouse? Um, obviously, I just knew it was the greenhouse. So I was like, ugh, whatever. So we have the Ducal Camelengo. We don't want to go there. We want to go to the notice board first. That's where I want to head. Look at this place. I'm, I'm going to be saying this the whole time, guys. You've got to understand. It's been such a long time since I've even just looked around here properly. Look at that. Look at the mural. They're picking grapes. I've actually got some. Well, they're not grapes. I got some cherries at the moment that I'm just I'm just munching on. Um, while I'm in Tucson, and it's also very hot today. I'll tell you the temperature right now. It's really hot for me. So I feel very Tucsonty. I know, really hot, and I'm inside. I've been out quite a bit today. 
It was like 30 degrees yesterday, but it's like 20 degrees, which is hot for where I live. Um, so I feel very, very much in the mood with my berries. There's a clerk. Oh, is he putting up notices? That is so cool. Or is he trying to note them down? Or is he writing one? I don't know, right? I'll read them. I can't be messing around too much, but... Okay. Fisticuffs. Hey, tough guy. Smack down your brother-in-law and now you're feeling invincible. Neighbors, step aside when they see you coming. Got violence in your heart? Then perhaps it's high time you fought for the title of Brawl Master of Beauclair. Defeat three champions and you'll get the honor of facing the maestro himself. Seek more information from bookies in San Sebastian and by the docks. Arm desk got wanted. We wish to hire a person, or persons, with good weapon skills, who for a reasonable fee will escort us into Albertus Cavern for exploratory purposes. Or exploratory purposes, whatever. The Knights Errant claim the cave harbors no dangers, so we don't expect trouble, but better safe than sorry. Auguste Lucien Hugo Monart. Test yourself for the trials of virtues. Um, dear reader, years pass and times change, yet all that is good and beautiful still requires a defender. Come to the Isle of Luck. C'est la vie. Luck, luck c'est la vie, I think. And test, the right uh, and test the rightness of your character during the trials. If you pass, you shall receive a reward. Wanted, the White Wolf. The Witcher Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, he should go to Count Belladal's temporary base camp in Toussaint. God. I'm talking a lot here. Um... <laughs> It's making me all like burpy. No, we kindly request all of the persons do not present all of the persons not present themselves at said camp under the pretense of being Geralt of Rivia. Count Belladal was not born yesterday and can easily tell who is a witcher and who is faking it. All those journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with wooden swords strapped to their back can save themselves the trouble and turn back. Should I go to this camp with like the worst clothes I have in like this is just a shirt and a wooden sword? I wonder if we'll be able to tell the difference. Okay, right. Wanted. Discreet specialist. Wanted. Professional to investigate mis mystery concerning Reginald de Albrey's or de Albrey's estate. De Albrey's estate. Requirements. Indomitable, indomitable, indomitable work ethic. Absolute discretion and refinement in supernatural situations. Desirable. Immaculate presentation, aesthetic sensitivity, and knowledge of modern sculpture. For details, please see Ro Ro Roland. Roland. Rolanda de Flackfizer, curator of art and, collect art and collectibles. I might be saying that wrong. It might just be Roland, but it has an E, so it might be like Rolanda. Sounds more French to me. Okay. Contract for a witcher slash, wi slash witches caravan escort. To a witcher or witches, the Beauclair Cooper's Guild, I'm just going to call that, the, Beauclair, the Beauclair Cooper's Guild is seeking an individual or individuals willing to escort a merchant convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. More information can be obtained from Gaston Legaf at the merchant's camp in the forests to the north of Coronata Vineyard. Morgrim Polain, Undersecretary for Threats and Risk Management at Beauclair Cooper's Guild. Nice tune. Ooh. Might be worth looking into. Yeah, nice tune, Geralt. Uh, okay, and then this is all the things. Someone wants an escort. That's something I do often, but might be worth investigating. So, okay, so that's two oh, things. Which, yeah, the thing, it, might, it would be worth looking into. Also, nice tune. Right, let's read this other one. Contract quarreling. You can skip all this if you want, guys. I just want to read them. <laughs> Contract quarreling, quarreling at the cemetery. Since no one from our residence committee seems to think it is their responsibility, I'll write it myself. This cannot go on. That infernal racket coming from the cemetery is driving us mad, and no one is doing anything about it. I know we all hear it. Madame Bouquet admitted it keeps her awake all night long, and she lives further away from the cemetery than any of us. God. If there is any witch who can put an end to all the screaming, brawling, and insults, I'll pay him from my own pouch. Ask them to point out Charles Lanzo at Clever Clogs, that'll be me. Notice from the Ducal Camalengo. Calling all knights errant and other strongmen. The duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bountinous, bountinous rewards are in the offering. More details available at the Ducal Camalengo's offices on Knight Stormont Square. Announcement from the Office of Internal Revenue of the Duchy of Tucson. The Office of Internal Revenue hereby announces a limited live auction to be held regarding the sale of a piece of developed, developed real estate and accompanying agricultural land located in the Carboretta Woods. Uh, cover at a woods region, having been left to the ducal treasury by the late Count Crespi. Oh, he was one of the victims, right? Um, who, from, uh, you know, um, 
I don't want to say any, the Beast of Beauclair, one of his victims. Or her, I don't know, we don't know, we know nothing. Who departed this world without any heirs. Are we, I guess we know Detlef, right? We know the name, we just told us. Um, due to the unique nature of the Belgard estate and its important role in the production of wine, bringing great fame to the duchy in all corners of the world, only subjects of the Duchy of Toussaint shall be allowed to participate in the auction. To all knights errant and other such men of arms, be it known far and wide that the services of voluntary keepers of, of peace shall be needed. Minor problems are expected to arise during the transfer of the above-mentioned real estate, and said problems for their dissolution um, could require the or dissolution um, could require I think dissolution right could require the application of direct physical force. All volunteers are asked to report to the field office for of the P P procurator general of Tucson near Pelgman's Bridge. That is to say, to the place where the auction shall be held. Contract. This is the one. Master Armorer. Master Armour in Beauclair seeks brave men to help recover long-lost diagrams. Contract is highly dangerous, as such will be lucratively rewarded. Knights Errant, a brother seeks aid. Will swap a knightly vow of chastity for a different vow, something like fasting or protecting his, the innocent. Ah, and the vow's ending date should fall close to S Salvin. How do you say that again? It's like, that's the festival, no? Sal Salvin. Salvin. I don't know. For your trouble, I can offer a Metina Horseman's Pick. A cockatrice's, a cockatrice feather, real, or a bottle of 1244 Sepremento. Gervais de Dumas. <laughs> oh, God. The Dumas himself. De Dumas. Um, um, trouble free loans for troubled times. Need coin? Afraid the fighting in the north will soon reach here? Want to enjoy yourself while you still can? Then what are you waiting for? Visit Cian Fanelli Bank. No paperwork, no collateral, and interest rates so low, it's practically stealing. Do the clerks looking for help? Could be good coin to be made. Geralt, that was too much to read. That was we need to have a break from reading. Oh my god. Okay. So the quest we want to do, uh, even though it's quite high, I just want to get this armor as soon as possible. Because obviously it'll help us do other quests as well. I feel like it's just the best thing to go for. So we've got to work out... I want to avoid any exclamation marks. And I feel like that is one down there. So I I, I think that is. I don't want it to even pop up on my screen. I want it to be... I, want, I, want to, I would just want to get this armor, then I can play actual Toussaint stuff. Got to be careful. God, there's a lot of quests. Okay, am I avoiding every exclamation mark? I think I am, guys. Oh, there's one down there. There's one to the right of me, but I probably can get that at a later date. Maybe. Should I go and get it? I'll go and get it because it's right there. I don't mind about getting ones that are just, like, on my screen. Just if it, I don't think this even turns into like a long-winded quest. At least, you know, oh, not an immediate one. Yes, I'm so glad you're back. back. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time. Do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Snake by the lake. Gotta stop by that bank. Free money. I guess this would have been when Geralt came to Beauclair um, in the books. He did like a lot of contracts and made a lot of money. It was like highlighted. Pretty interesting. I'm glad to see her illustrious grace summon such a professional. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm professional. Hey! <laughs> professional brute. Okay, right, let's go and get this, um, you shan't fight anything this quest. I think it's for all the Grandmaster armors, but, um, obviously we're just gonna go for the Manticore today, then we'll get the other ones down the line. Ooh. Oh, it's the Gwent thing. Hey, he, didn't, he was just dressed as a rabbit, having fun. Citizens, beware of the beast. 
Turn your trembling hearts to the good book. You will find solace there. Sir Knight, beware of head crumbs. Remove okay. your helmet. Okay, head crumbs staying. is enough. Oh, here we are. Yeah, the lighting is a little bit different. I kind of like it. It's a bit more... Although it will be very dark, but guys, don't worry. We got this now, see? Yeah, that's right. A light source. The perfect thing. Okay, you. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarg. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Hmm. You're going to be doing a lot of forging. So this is the guy that I believe is the apprentice of... Is it Tien Sael or something? Or Tien Sael, something like that. Who's the um, the the elven blacksmith, like one of the best in the world. Um, how these diagrams wind up in Tucson? I can already answer that, but I will let them answer, I think, because I don't just want to, you know, undercut everything. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of obvious when you think about it. It's like... If there is one blacksmith widely known for making armor, they would all come here, right? But, right, how, uh, let's hear it anyway. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Sounds fair enough. Yeah, I'm sure this is an interesting story. I feel like, you know, considering elves live so much longer than humans, it's interesting they take a human on as an apprentice, isn't it? Um, okay. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grandmaster quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Hmm, makes sense. Okay, the diagrams tell me where to look for them. Yeah, let's just get into it. 
Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school. Of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Oh, manticore, huh? I wonder if we've ever seen armor like that before. You'd, you'd be surprised, guys, if you watched since The Witcher 1. Okay, yeah, I guess manticore first, right? School of the manticore. Probably know the least about it. Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. Conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Oh, Christ. I mean, I feel like we've brawled with, well, not guards, but we've brawled. I guess if you did brawl with guards, you would probably go to jail, and especially in this sort of world, you'd go for a long time. And if you're, a, like, a, a stranger to the lands. Right, tell me about the bear. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Hmm, a bear Witcher, huh? Don't know much about them. He sounds awesome, though. The bear armor, I mean, yeah, I've said this before, but the bear armor was always the armor I would go for. Like, that was, that was the, when I first ever played The Witcher 3, and obviously I didn't know that much about it. I remember hearing about, like, I found out about the bear armor. Or just the school's armor in general. This is before they even, like, had the wolf armor and stuff in the game. And that, and out of all of them, I was like, yeah, that sounds amazing. I don't know, I've always liked sort of the heavier armor in games. But I really do like the wolf armor too. And the griffin and the cat. I don't know which one is, like, my favorite, though. And obviously the Manticore and the Viper and stuff. Viper one does look really cool though when I'm wearing it now. It looks it looks awesome. I like the scales on the uh, the breastplate. Right, tell me about the wolf. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termes. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Hmm, that sounds very interesting. Right, tell me about the Griffin. The Griffin? What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He 
showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Sounds like a plan. Right, final one, guys. School the cat, or the cat. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome Delone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time, he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Okay. Right. Well, I guess we'll go and get it. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and it's got Manticore as the first one. That's good. Okay, there's still people talking around. Can I have a look around your shop? It's quite a nice shop. I like it. Right, okay. Let's get this Manticore armor then. Let's get this done as soon as possible. I don't know if I have enough money to make or buy the Manticore armor. Actually, you know what? I'm curious. What does this guy sell? Greeting. Yeah, hello. Um, what do you have on offer? What have you got? A bunch of armor, as is tradition. A bunch of horse stuff. I should probably buy, like, a really cool horse saddle. I think these are, like, the best ones in the game. Although, I'm sure I'll get more as I play. Oh, no. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, God. I'm starting... Oh, enriched dimeritium. Look how much that is! Oh. Farewell. Good luck. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I know, I know. Our yeah, we're gonna have to sell some swords, guys. It's gonna have to happen. To okay. So what? What is step one of this? What is it? I need to do. I need to go to a prison. Um. Right. Well, if I if I get that signboard to here, and then I just run up. Or like rope chop even. That should be enough, I think. Yeah, I think that will be enough. Okay, right. I will get to the signboard and I will see you guys there. Relatively. When I get there. Oh, wow! Okay, I might pull you out here. Look how amazing this is. Oh, can we dance too? Are we allowed to stand on this? I'm gonna do it. Okay, we can't. Good dancing, Geralt. Very witchily. I like it. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is amazing. God, I love it. I love it. Oh, I, I absolutely love it. Okay, guys, we're almost there. I'm coming up to it. There's a bunch of tents. It looks cool here. I like it. I'm curious about these tents, actually. I might go and see them. What is this? There's a bunch of hunters. Eh, king of my heart. Oh, thanks. I mean, strange, but thanks. Um, no, yeah, right. So we're pretty much there, guys. The ruins of Bastoy Prison. Hmm. Wonder if I'll find anything Merton left behind here. Good plan, Geralt. Might find some other things left behind. Ooh, okay. Well, I found something. Um. There's a, there's a brick here. 
Librarian's Memoirs. I embezzled and I stole. I admit this and, and I'm ashamed of my actions. But what was I to do? My salary as a scribe was so laughably meager, I was reduced to borrowing coin from my mother. I was a thief, but I also did a great deal of good for the palace library. He secured the import of such tomes as the lives of the prophets and De De Heimorhoidibus, I think. De Heimorhoidibus. De Heimorhoidibus. I don't know. The art of midwifery for maidens and many others. The palace library has me to thank for the storehouse of all knowledge needed for a merry and satisfied life with other rare tomes, such as Speculum Aurem and De Lavis Sienesis et Figuris Camictis, cam, cam, camisis, something like that, cam, camic, camicis. Um, theft and embezzlement may mean nothing. A man's theft, theft and embez, God, theft and embezzlement mean nothing. A man's true value shows in the manner in which he treats books. Okay, and there's a little chest here, although it is locked. And if there is a locked chest, there must be a key. Hmm, nice herbs. Right, I think I know where you go for Merton's thing. Although I'm pretty sure there's more like prison. Oh. Hello. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh. Okay. 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 Everything's fine. God, she's going quickly. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with the art thing. I think I, it's fun, but it's also so hard to pull off. I think it is it feels like an RNG thing. Maybe I have to like push into a wall so she can't jump back. Got an out. God. Okay, well that was a bit of a surprise. Oh my god. Oh. Notes. Oh, there's another little thing on the floor. Notes of a death row convict. The sun is now rising. I shall make use of its light to write this letter before they come to take me to the gallows. I do not know who shall read it, or indeed if anyone shall. Perhaps I am writing only to myself to cast this out before my execution and cleanse my heart. Yes, I killed him. Until now, I have lied in an attempt to avoid punishment. I still believe he deserved death for what he did to me. Did I do wrong? Perhaps. Yet he was the most. He, yet he was most assuredly a bad man, one who deserved death. The gods shall make the final judgment, and they shall deliver the sentences, mine and his. I hear the guards' steps, may the gods watch over my soul. So this was a prison that... Ooh. Ooh, a clerk diary. Fragment of a journal sword with blood and spinal fluid. Um, spinal fluid. It portended to be just another day as a clerk at the Ducal Treasury. Start the morning with a with baguette and camembert, then shuffle some parchments and head uh, for home before dusk. Today, however, the normal order of things was disturbed, dramatically. I came across a highly interesting note in the archives, and along with it, a key. The key is the more interesting find, because according to what I could decipher from the dust-covered scribblings on the note, it opens a chest full of gold coins. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. 
While doing some routine straightening of the files, I found a report outlining procedures for the reform of Bastoy Prison, or just straight from Duke Henry Grass. We are all aware how badly this experiment ended, for the ruins of that prison for this to this day frighten any potential tourists with their battered skeletons and legends about howling spirits of the murdered guards. Yet I do not know the, that hiding among the abandoned ruins there was a chest, and that its key was lying right under my nose. The chest contains crowns meant for the purchase of books and rations for the inmates of Bastoy. One of the clerks employed there at the time committed a sin of omission and sent the chest to the warden without the key. Yet perhaps this was, that was for the best. The warden was impaled and the guards all skinned alive, meaning those degenerates would have also got their hands on the chest had that he received the key. As it is, might the chest uh, still be there unopened? Folks say a curse has fallen on that place, a dark power brought down by the bestiality, can I say that? Um, <laughs> I mean, fuck it, by the bestiality of the b bestiality of the murders beheld. Um, but folk also say an Afiri will become, an, become Emperor of Nilfgaard and uh, herald the end of the world, so there's not much point giving uh, any, of, any of such jabbering much credence. Is that really how you say it? I would have said, like, the bestial, the bestial nature. I don't know. God. Okay. Oh, well, this is, like, right here. Oh, this is, like, a red thing? Oh, well, I guess we, we got the Bruxer, so it's fine. Um, assuming that is what it's it's in reference to. I'm not sure if we have all the notes. There's another person here. Nice. Um, I'll check around. I'll check around. There could be more. So there was a prison, and assumedly there was some sort of reform, and then the prisoners were allowed to go and do more stuff, and they just were like, oh, let's just kill the guards. And then assumedly the prisoners were also all killed. Or they escaped, or... I don't know. A lot did die, it seems. Or maybe they, they didn't manage to implement the reform to the best possibility? Because the chest couldn't be opened or something? Um, well, I think I found all the notes. There's that bit up there. If I missed any notes, I apologize, but I think I've got everything. Um, okay, well, this is the chest, I'm assuming. Boom. There you go. Let's have a look at what this uh, note is. Work order. Order for the reorganization and reform of Bastoy Prison. To the Warden. By decree of, by decree of his illustrious grace, Duke Henry III, Jacques Olex, Warden of Bastoy Prison, is required to implement the following reforms. Or reforms. Number one, dismiss half of the prison's guard staff. Number two, forbid the use of corporal force against the inmates. Number three, discontinue punishment by dark cells, limited rations, and flogging. Number four, permit the prisoners to possess private property. Number five, allow prisoners to walk at will around the penitentiary grounds. Number six, purchase, um, using the included funds, vittles of the finest quality, and hire a teacher to instruct in reading and writing, and purchase any equipment necessary for said instruction. His illustrious... Grace, Duke Henry III, believes these changes based on models popular in the more civilized lands of the South will result in a lowering of the rate of crime in all of the duchy. Uh, sorry, lowering of the rate of crime in all the duchy by showing young offenders a pathway to a new life. Junior clerk, Philip Jordi Simbardo. Also, he was a junior clerk, which I'm assuming is why he messed up the uh, not delivering the key as well. Okay. Interesting. Well, I don't think there's anything else in this lower level bit. If I've missed anything, I'm sorry. But, you know, sometimes you can't get everything. Um, it's just there seems to be loads of little rocks with notes and stuff, and I might have missed, like, a little note. But it happens. I, d I don't think I have, though. Okay, right, let's go check the bit where I think I'm assuming Merton's stuff will be. Or where Merton was held. Oh, in this little tower. Aha! I'm gonna assume it's that rock. First of all, take the linen rope. There's some chains. There's a skeleton. Manticore steel sword. Ah, there you go. And prisoner's journal. Prisoner's journal. 30th of Burke, 201. My fellow captive, Merton. Oh, so this is from someone else's perspective. Who for so many months kept his neck stiff, mocked my faith in Lebioda, and praised the joys of a righteous life. Uh... 
mocked my faith in Lebiota and praised the joys of a riotous life, today broke down completely. He admitted he had wasted his gods, given time on pleasures of the flesh, and all that he had sh to show for it were chains and indignities. I tried to lift his spirits to tell him there, was, there is another path, that he can cast off his past habits and devote his life to Lebioda and his teachings. For now, my counsels have fallen on deaf ears, but I believe he'll one day convert and listen to the truth. Legible entry, 17th of Lamas, 1202. So this is like a year later? I'm not sure entirely how all the months go. I think Burke surely must be like towards December area. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, the conversion's a little weird, but Lamas, if you were going by this, is basically a year and a bit later. It is shocking how pleasantly I now converse with Merton. It, beg it beggars belief to think we once could not bear each other's presence. He is a man transformed, metamorpho metamorphosed. I feel he has now he has accepted his new path. He devours greedily all I tell him about Lebioda and his teachings. What rapture it is that, in this dank and dark dungeon, the Prophet sent me a sinner and gave my life meaning. Blotted entry. Um, 43rd of Blathe, 1203. It is over. Merton has served his sentence and left these accursed dungeon walls. The teachings which I have tried to pass on to him during these last dozen months have clearly taken root. Merton has vowed to go on a... Uh, to go on a pilgrimage which will let him cast off his old ways and open the doors for a new life. As I advised, he will first he will go first to the cave where Lebioda received enlightenment and on those and on whose walls he carved four of his great truths. I hope the aura of that place will help Merton, as it has helped many before him, achieve cleansing and gain strength to continue his pilgrimage onto his next station, which I advised him should be rest eligible. Notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Merton went to the legendary cave. Lebiota was supposed to have hunkered down there once. That's my next destination. Sounds like it, Geralt. Is there like a signboard near here? Because it says it's 2,000 meters away. That feels like a long way to go. Where is it? Oh my god, it's so far. Uh. Okay, I could head up like here. And, and maybe get like a... You know what, guys? I will work it out. I will work out how to get there, and I will see you guys there. Uh, I mean, no, we could talk about that a little bit. Kind of interesting. So, seemingly, there was some sort of riot. The prisoners killed everyone. I, d I feel like I've missed a note or something. I'm not, I'm not just being weird about this. I seem to remember there was more notes. Right, well, I think that is everything from there. We've now got to go... Oh, there's a... There's a... There's a... I thought I could hear something, you know? There's a basilisk? No, no, no. What am I talking about? It's a fork tail? God, we haven't seen a fork tail in a long time. It's a green one, too. It's kind of cool. Hello. Okay. That was an amazing shot, by the way. I should probably use all geared sword as well, you know? I feel like, obviously, I, I'm using the Viper stuff because it's my Viper stuff. I don't think I have all geared sword on me at the moment, but... Come um, on, Roach. The only reason I feel like I should use it is because... Um, I think it has quite a cool ability if it charges up. But I think it does cost my health or something. I hear something and I'm just going to keep going. Well, there's some... Th oh, wait, hang on. Ooh, avoid here, avoid here. I think that is a marker. I don't want to accidentally. Okay, yeah. we found an actual marker. I didn't. I didn't pick it up accidentally, did I? No. Okay. Right. Let's go there. I will see you guys there because I'm just going to do a lot of traveling and walking now. Something's not right. What do you mean something's not right, Geralt? What's going on? Slow now. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's these things from The Witcher 1, right? Oh, it is! Oh god, what was that was the guy there? Oh, these things, these were awesome on the outskirts. Oh. They've got their back! God, I haven't seen these in such a long time. You remember these? 
Oh, my sword's broken. Hang on. Got him. God, this was what? What do they call it? Like the beast or something? It was like the thing on the outskirts that was chasing. I'm pretty sure they were chasing Alvin at the very start, right? Oh Christ! Okay. Um. Good loot. Neil Poirier's farewell letter. Now I know life is perfect, life is excellent, life is full of magic, beauty, and poss beauty, possibility, and drama, and surprises, and numerous surprises. You, father, are also in for a surprise. You do not wish for your son to become an actor. You chose another home for him, the army. So your son has a surprise for you. His feet will never touch the ground again. He will never again taste life's beauty. And you, father, soon you must reach up to your son's dangling, sorry, son's hanging corpse and take the sack full of crowns from which you sold his life to butchers. Neil Poiret. Oh, Christ. Look, I'm just gonna carry on. Uh, yay, we did a marker. Uh, uh. It was nice to see those guys again, though, I will say. Right, I'm gonna carry on, guys. Oh, wait, there's a traveling merchant here. Hello, little fella. What are you doing? Good day. Oh, you don't sell anything. You were a terrible merchant. But watch out back there, there was something weird. Um Okay. Well, that took way too long. Um although I probably avoided any markers that might have randomly appeared. Okay guys, we're about two hundred meters away now. I decided to swim across because I wanted to avoid any um you know like exclamation marks. I wanna get this armor before I start doing loads of like little quests and things. Um just because I feel like it, it I want to get as Tucson, Tucson-ty as possible. Tucson, Tucson-y? Tucson-ty? I don't know. As possible before I get, um, fully into it. So, this is apparently where the, oh, there's a leopard. How you like Panther that thing. There's a thing. We have never fought a panther in the playthrough. In fact, I, I'd almost want to say this is the least fought thing for me ever. Panthers. Well, maybe not, but but it's definitely high up there. You know, if you don't have the, the unique encounters. Right, I'm gonna try this out. These things are hard. Ugh. They they get really quick hits in. God, they dropped secured leather though, that's actually not too bad. God, I'm gonna have to like, wait for a minute. God. Okay, let's just, 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 let's just, let's just, should we wait a day? Sure, why not? Okay. What is that? Was it the panther? I thought it killed it further up. The cave Merton mentioned. Need to look around. Sounds a good idea, Geralt. Depending on how... Oh, it is pretty dark. It is pretty dark. Which means... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Okay. Uh, rem rem uh, remember to seek moderation in all things, in drink and victuals, and in the pleasures of the flesh. For whoever shall abuse these pleasures, pleasures shall awake the next morning in great pain, with a pounding head and a wilted member. Okay. Slips of paper all over. Prayer on each one. Maybe Merton left one too. Possible, Geralt. Possible. 
Um, do not unto thy neighbour what thou thyself deemest unpleasant, unless thy neighbour hath done thee sorely wrong, and rife with vileness were his deeds. Well. Please bless mummy with good health, great Lebioda, make her well, and make her never get so awful pissed again. Antoinette. I'm assuming it's Antoinette. Um... Oh, great Lebioda, make my fields yield bounties and save them from floods and drought. But only my fields, mind you. My neighbor has had enough luck of late. Gaston. Damn right. You tell him. Prayer for me, no, for no one else. Thou shalt always speak the truth, unless the truth is not well served by being spoken, in which case thou shalt lie. So thou shalt not always speak the truth. I think it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. I'll, I'll read all the other ones before I get Merton's. Let me be beautiful, shapely, alluring, and always youthful, and may lice gnaw on that strumpet Maria's fat hiney. Babette. Or bab Babe. Babette, I don't know. Um, Tech smeared. Already asked, already asked Melitale. I've been to the Jurds and nothing, so maybe you, great Lebioda, will hear my prayer. I want to be old, ugly, and fat, for I'm sick and tired of staring at all these fair folk. What? There is dull as ditch water. I at least aspire to be interesting. Quentin. No, Quentin. Quentin, I think. God, okay. Well, that's interesting. Um. Texmeard, and may Jean Luc be struck down, his bowels devoured by cholera, for he is a, a leecher, or lech lecher even, and harlot's brood, like few others. Bastien. Okay. Uh. Lebioda, bless be thy name. Please let my son Julian reach Kavir safely. Let him find a li little lady at last, one well born with ample tracts of land. Pascal. A lot of, um, not what I would consider particularly nice prayers, but. Uh, Verily I say unto you, give alms to the poor, yet deposit not a whole watermelon upon a beggar's lap, but merely half. Lest the beggar joy, joy, lest, lest the beggar's, lest the beggar's joy strike him with ap apoplexy, apop, 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 apoplexy, apoplexy. I think apoplexy. Is that you say apoplexy? I think apoplexy. That's that's a weird one. Well, okay. Read all the notes. Final note. I'm gonna assume it's Mertens. Loot Mertens prayer. 7th of Fein, 1203. Bless me with strength, that I may never falter. Bless me with grace, that I may never doubt. Bless me with fortitude of spirit, that I may, ne that I may leave behind the old and embrace the new with courage. I, Merton, a member of the Guild of Witches, named after the Manticore, begin this day my pilgrimage. Here, in the very cave, where for three and twenty days and three and twenty nights, Lebioda fasted and meditated. I vow to atone for my sins, to walk the path of redemption, and rid myself of all that lies the all that ties me to my old life, so that I may stand proudly among the disciples of the highest and proclaim myself a new man. I shall thus now journey to the temple of Lebioda to meet with the great beggar, a sage who has pondered the pearls of Lebioda more than um, any else in more than any else in this sad veil of tears. I shall listen to his counsel and follow his guidance on my road to absolution. There we are. Merton wrote a prayer on the back of the diagram. Seems he left the prison, came here. And went on to the temple. Does sound like it, Geralt. I could really have lit those torches. That would have been... Okay, whatever. I like using the torch. Probably put it away now. Okay, well, we got another diagram as well. We have another four to get, guys. Four more, then we can make this... Well, pretty good. I have to go get some swords, too. I might take out all gears and just use it for a bit. But um, let's see. How far away is this one? Pretty far away again. Uh, I guess if we go to those ruins, we can cut up. Probably the best strategy, I think. Okay, right. I will get there, guys, and I will see you there. It'll be good. I like to show traveling and stuff. It's just we will be doing a lot of traveling when I actually want to do the markers and stuff like that. So I feel like it's kind of pointless just to show you me running from place to place. Because there's not really much. Um, I'm not really doing much. I'm just running. <laughs> Okay, guys, we have made it to Lebioda's temple. It took a while to get here. They, they look like they're in the middle of building a some sort of statue. I uh, I walked here. Well, I walked and used roach. It was like a mixture, mostly roach. Um, I believe the monument of Lebioda is above, which might be quite nice to look at. It's very cool here. So this is apparently where Merton went next. So we're just going to try and find him. Uh, well, you know, his, his trace. Should look around. 
Might find something interesting. So he went to see someone. I can't remember their name, but they had a name. He went to see someone who was apparently like a really big teacher within Lebioda stuff. Okay, don't tell Lebioda about that. That didn't happen. Okay, so there's a wall to break. Spectre in a place like this, behind a wall. Someone must have rolled some poor fellow up. He can't rest in peace. Apparently so. It automatically pulled out my torch. Oh. This guy is skilled at fighting. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Bones of the Great Beggar. Spirit won't rest in peace until I bury the remains. Some sarcophagi in the first chamber. One of them could work. Hmm, okay. The Tenebra... Tenebra... The Tenebrus, I think. Tenebrus Wilderness of Ked Merkvid. In the northwestern region of the Duchy of Toussaint, past the Bleasure River, there lies the forest of Ked Merkvid, a druidic sanctuary which, as a result of treaties signed with the G Duchy's rulers, enjoys full autonomy in its internal affairs. The forest is one of the main reserves of the Beauclair Oak, a significant component of the local copperage industry. Um, with, or cooperage? It must be, no, cooperage. Cooperage industry. With ecological balance in mind and following agreements between the Cooper's Guild, or whatever, and the Flam and the Flaminka, that's, I think, the female leader of a druid circle. Yeah, the leader of the circle, but I think specifically female. Um... Oak felling in the forest is currently subject to strict supervision. In 1267, when the Fl Flaminica, um, Flaminica agree, d granted asylum to druids from Kedduch in Angren, ah, oh, remember this? Fighting broke out within the sanctuary. The bandits, who tried to escape justice in the forest, were burnt alive in wicker ha um, hags, to set an example. Since then, the borders of Ked Merkvid have been protected by strong magical barriers, and to be honest, I would not recommend visiting the region, this region without an invitation from the Flaminica. From Pet Petrin Felsan's Guide to Toussaint. Yeah, I mean, I guess that it was the northwestern region of Toussaint, right? I'm pretty sure that there is like an area that you can access if you get like a mod or something and it like allows you to go further than the map lets you and it's an area that has like a bunch of oaks and like ruins and stuff and they think that might have been like a plan to do something here but then they just kind of had to scrap it which is a shame so i'm assuming it's that red thing back there but let's just loot everything else first i only read that book because i was interested in the druid thing i'm not going to read every book an ornate shield this Great Beggar's Journal. Let's have a read. Um, 7th, 7th, 7th of Fein, 1203. The attacks have grown more forceful. The residents of the nearby village who oppose my presence become more aggressive by the day. They do not like that I speak the truth about their former deities. They cannot understand they will only find salvation in Lebioda. They threaten me with death, but if I am to die for Lebioda, if that is the destiny the prophet has marked out for me, I shall fulfill it with a broad smile on my face. 14th of Fein, 1203. I have just parted with a most marvelous guest, a true convert, a man of extraordinary yearning for truth and faith. He is called Merton, and was once a witcher, but has abandoned that dishonorable trade and embarked on the path of truth. We spoke at length and sat together for hours in meditation and prayer to better honor Lebioda. He left behind here many goods which symbolized his attachment to his former life. He has made great progress. Oh, if only all the disciples of Lebioda were so fervent in their faith, this world would be a better place. Murder confessed to me the bitter, the bitter truth about the foul deeds he had wrought in his past life. I told him if he is to obtain cleansing, if I told him if he is to obtain cleansing, I told him if he is to obtain cleansing, he must go to the hidden chapel, reaching this bleak place which is carved out of rock and ridden with dangerous creatures, will in itself constitute a challenge and a trial. 
if uh, and a trial. If Lebiota lets him enter the chapel's confines, it means he has forgiven his sins, his crimes, and so Merton went. Let Lebiota guide his feet. 19th of Fein, of Fein, 1203. My fate is sealed. I shall die for my faith, for truth, for Lebioda. This night, folk from the village, a band of drunken thugs, attack the temple. With hate and malice on their breath, they cried that since I am the great beggar, I should now beg Lebioda for mercy. They looted the temple of all its treasures, thankfully leaving the books which they deemed worthless, and walled me, uh, and sorry, and walled me into wither in a sealed tomb. If Lebioda does not send me help, I will die here. May my bones bear witness to his glory. Ooh, okay then. So he's continuing his pilgrimage. I like how we're kind of following in his steps. It's like we're sort of doing a little bit of it too. Although we didn't spend three years in prison. Okay. Um, and I have to put it in like one of these sarcophagus or sarcophagi or whatever, right? Ready. Soul should rest in peace now. There you go. I like the torch, you know. It is nice when it's sort of a little bit darker and you can actually use the torch and stuff. Look how big that horse is. Oh my god, it's like a bay horse or something. Roach, this horse... Wait, where is Roach? That's not Roach. Putting you to shame, look at it. Okay. Um, well, that was cool. I think there is a, a signpost somewhere around here, right? Maybe down here? Ah, there you go. I also just saw a little thing. What's this? In accordance with Article 161 of the Ducal Code, the Attorney General for the City of Beauclair has designated a reward to be given to whoever shall bring before the court one Loth, son of Mark, alias Halfbreed, or else provide proof of his passing. Interesting. Okay. Right, well, let, let's go and get this other thing. I'm assuming it's another thousand meters away. Well, let me check. Yes. Sends you right up and down the map, this one. Uh, it is... Oh, I can get that from the palace gardens pretty easily. That's not too bad. In fact, I might not even skip it for you guys. I can just walk straight there. This has taken me so long. This has taken me actually so long to get this armor. I've, I've been doing this for ages now. Like, I've been recording for a while. It's good, though. It's nice. I mean, I'm going to have to get all the armors, so that's going to have to be like a part in itself at some point, I think. Although I don't think I have the money at the moment. I've got to do some more missions and stuff and some actual quests. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after the Manticore armor. I don't have a necessary sort of plan. I guess I could do one of the main missions. It might be nice to do a main mission. I guess I could go catch up with Regis. Might be fun. Although there is a couple things I would like to try and do. I'll do I might do like quests that are my sort of level. What level is the Regis quest? 39. So maybe I should do stuff like, like, you know, 37, 36, 37, 35, you know, all that sort of stuff. Turn and face the strange. Where's that one? The one that Yennefer gave me. That would be good to do, I think, just to get going with the extra mutations. Um, yeah, that's probably the next one I'll do, but I'll get this armor first. Um... Okay. Curif curious if there's anything like under the water. I don't see anything. Just like the great beggar described it, Chapel Merton visited must be in the cave. I love using the torch. This is kind of fun. <laughs> <coughs> oh, what? Geralt, get that. Put the torch out. It might explode in your face. <coughs> Damn it. What's going on here? I don't know, I don't know how I feel about having a torch out and a bunch of gas. But, we'll leave it. It's fine. I won't loot all the mushrooms. Oh no, not another young... Hello. Nude women in a cave? Something's not right. Hello? Oh my... Oh, hello. Sorry. Oh, what was that? 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 I heard something. I heard something. I heard something. I heard something. What was that noise? Uh. Brooks, sir. More Brooks, sir. But there was two, wasn't there? Oh god, it's so like disorientating in here.
I'm, I'm tempted to use the moon dust. I feel like it's worth it. Hey, not nice, is it? When I can see her. Okay. Poisoned. I, I might be able to do it. God damn it! I selected the wrong sign. Got him. There's two? Oh yeah, there was two. I thought there was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Okay, this is annoying. Yeah, Moon Dust is very useful. I didn't even drink Black Blood. It's fine, I notice it every time. Damn it. How are you escaping? Right, go on. Yeah, you can't, you can't. It's just impossible. It's just let's debate you. Okay, you're doing well, you're doing well. Uh, yeah, Geralt. Yeah, they did. Holy crap. Oh my god, I need to just start. Oh, one minute. Right, okay. So, that was, that was the cloak that she dropped, or there's some, there's a rock there, I think. Well, they didn't drop any loot, so I am inclined to think maybe they are hallucinations. But as Geralt said, they did fight like they were real. Loss of unrefined copper. Blood moss. Uh, okay. I'm just going to keep going through, I guess. I'm sort of concerned about what else there might be in here. Should I pull out the torch? God damn it. <laughs> let, let me just wait like an hour. Oh, I can't. Okay. I just wasted my goddamn... I thought I had the torch equipped, okay? It's fine. We'll go without the moon dust. Hmm. Gotta say, I am very concerned when I see people now. This is where the brooks are sat? No, sort of. Well, I'll, I'll go in. They all died on me. Left me bereft. Not a copper to my name. Beggars here? Must be a test. Please. Do I give them the money? God damn it, game. Why give me money? Do not avert your eyes. Help. So the Brooks was the first Help test. The poor soul. Arms for the poor, sir. Last one. Wonder what'll happen now. I hear lots of moving. This is a cool quest though, isn't it? What was that? It's just like the screen is like slightly off. Oh no. And they spend it by kicking more. 
Mars. Just okay, well, we're getting them anyway. Hang on. Oh, they don't seem to be getting set on fire. Look at my toxicity. Oh. Wait, what's the potion that, like, resets my toxicity again? It's, um... Yeah, this one. Uh, I guess we don't only have one left as it is. Okay. Damn it, I don't think we can meditate. Um, I'll put the white rafts just back, just in case. Uh, gold. Right, well, we saved that guy. It's like a strength of each, like, virtue? Maybe? Can I wait now? No. Okay, I'll stop trying. I'll stop trying. I'm just wondering. Seems it's like so hard to tell. You never know. There could be like a hidden chest back here. Although I can't dive. Just looks like a bunch of herbs. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's much here. Man, it looks a lot oh. like Liviota. Impossible. Oh god, that guy. I can just about squint and make him out. Look at him. He nodded at me. Not seeing visions anymore. Hope that's the end of that. I saw his face. I could with the torch it helped. Merton's notes, Manticore Silver Sword. Seventeenth of Fan, twelve oh three. It is done. I have reached the cave of trib the cave of tribulations and stepped into the hallowed confines of the hidden chapel. Never shall I forget what I have been through. I was attacked by giant fire breathing creatures. Power monstrosities akin to drowners crossed with Andrega and Drega and Um Power Power Monstrosities, whatever. Um men with the faces of wild animals, yet Lebioda smiled on me and saw fit to let me survive this harrowing this harrying gauntlet. I thought I was gonna say harrowing. This harrying gauntlet. At its end here, in the hidden chapel, I surrendered myself to meditation and immediately he filled my mind with a vision of a lake whose crystal clear waters surrounded me, penetrated my soul and cleansed it of all wickedness and villainy. When I awoke, I was certain that I was certain what Lebio, Lebio, uh, I was certain what Lebioda had designated as the last station on my pilgrimage, the Lake of Cleansing, where Lebioda healed the bodies and spirits of his followers. Following the advice of the sage known as the Great Beggar, in whose wisdom I basked at the Temple of Lebioda, I pray all as well with him and the people of his village have understood he only speaks the truth and means them no harm. I shall now leave behind further things. I shall now leave behind further things binding me to my former life. Doing so is not easy, however, for acquiring these diagrams once cost me a great deal of time. Um energy and sacrifice but i know this is the right path let lebioda accept my humble offering i now can i now continue onward towards the lake of cleansing through my uh, sorry uh, though my road is difficult and full of sacrifices it grows even more straight and clever and clear and i feel a lightness in my soul my certainty uh, my certainty i walk the right path grows strong as iron firm as steel um Praise be to Lebioda. Merton went to the lakeside to seek final atonement. Should look into it. Yeah. Mm, wonder if it's a relic of some sort. I'm gonna take it? What is it? 
It's like a skull. Okay, I'm not sure if that comes up later on for some reason. That feels like a weird thing just to have. So give me a shout about that one. I saw something shining on the wall there. Nice. Okay, well now we have to leave. The Lake of Cleansing. Oh, another 2,000 meter walk. Okay, guys. I will start making my way there. Um, and I will be right back with um, with you all once we once we get out of here. Okay, guys, we're almost there. I'm about 100 meters away from this lake of cleansing. And, uh, yeah. Well, something is going on here. Hello. Gentlemen, we've I'll never know. Something wrong with my face? Yeah, you know, good point, Geralt. Good Lake point. Merton wrote about. Gotta be. Nice place. Pretty as hell. It is very cool here. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't have taken their treasure from them. They could have just been treasure hunters. That doesn't entitle me to just take it. But if they kill me, fair enough. Well, they tried to. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Right, so this is apparently the lake where Merton left his things. Holy lake. Oh, I see something. I wonder how much there is in this lake. I just kind of want to swim around the whole thing and check. Okay, I see a few things. Okay, that's, I'm assuming, the Merton thing. Uh, I kind of don't want to get it now. I want to get that, like, last. I want to get everything else first. Oh god, look how much is here. Well, it's not lots, but it's like bits and pieces. Um, I could use some blizzard. Sorry, not blizzard. Uh, killer whale. Although, I'm not too bothered really. I'll use it on my next like venture back down. It looks like there's quite a lot here for me to get. God. There's a lot, isn't there? Hmm, I should probably start heading back up. Right, I'm going to take some killer whale, I think. Just to make this a little bit easier. Okay. Because there's a lot of stuff here. Although well, this is just like book thorn. Um, I'm sure there'll be like loads of cool stuff. Maybe I should. I'll think what I'll do is I'll look around like this the floor, and then I'll like swim to the surface and have like a look again. Oh. Got it. Another fork tail. God, they're laggy fighting fork tails. They're so like jittery. Yeah, we'll just deal with that real quick. Um, good, good. Um, 
God, all those noises are awful. What is that? There's like a dead thing over there. Oh, it's a rabbit. I think they're just killing rabbits. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I should probably get this thing for Merton. I'm just... Let's have a look. Although there's something there. Look, look, look. There is small things. Just they're tiny. Lebioda's disci Lebioda Disciples Prayer. Thanks be unto thee, great Lebioda, for thy help, for thy mercy, mercy, for thy warmness of heart, for his allow me to walk the path of redemption and atone for my sins. May uh, thy name be praised for all etern eternity, Pagodar. See, there is some more stuff. It's just like really low down, and it seemingly is only in this area. I mean, is this like a place where they throw stuff? I feel kind of bad about just looting it. Like, in this sort of little circle I've got for the uh, Merson stuff, I'm assuming there is more things to pick up. Although I might have actually got everything at this point. Everything of use. All these herbs, I can just buy them, you know? Because we got that. Okay, well, if I missed anything, it, w it won't be anything particularly interesting, I feel. We got most things. If, if I did, I can always come back. See, there's some crowns there. Right, here it is. Oh, whoops. Merton's last letter, Diagram Manticore Gauntlets. 32nd of Fayin, 1203. My road has reached its end. I, Merton, having been given as a child to members of the Manticore Guild of Witches, having, be having been subjected to their vile mutations and refashioned by their destructive re regime of training, do this day cease to be a Witcher. I have finished my pilgrimage and divested myself of all that tied me to my old life. I have journeyed to the hidden chapel in the Cave of Tribulations and survived. Today, I am born anew. Here, in the Lake of Cleansing, I leave behind the last of the items which signify my attachment to my previous incarnation as a Witcher. Along with them, I leave behind my cares, my grievances, and my obligations. I cast off all that I was, including my name. From now on, I shall answer to Chevelle. I am a new man. Thank you, most re rebutable. Re red redoubtable? I shall answer to Chavel. I am a new man. Thank you, most redoubtable Lebioda. I feel my new self pushing me onwards. Uh, sorry, I feel my new self pushing me onward to new lands and places which remain hidden from me. The good folk who helped me during my journey always said I must listen to my inner voice and follow it. For it is through that inner voice that Lebioda speaks to us. I shall not go against its will. I will set off north to Demeria, Edirne, perhaps even the Dragon Mountains. Uh, I, will I, will uh, I, will I will proclaim the glory of Lebioda and do good deeds, just as the prophet commanded. Then I have a bunch of other letters, apparently. I, I have read, but... Oh, wow. Well, we did it. Last stop. We did it, Geralt. We got it. Well, we'll t yeah, we'll take these diagrams to him. Although we do have to get more diagrams. But I guess these will do for now. Right, well, we got the Manticore diagrams, guys. That took ages, but I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah, I found a marker here. However, there was a house. And they seemingly were going to kill me. So maybe I can just sneak through and grab this, grab this and get back easily. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, I did it. Right, back to him. You know what? Before I go back, I'm actually going to go and get a bunch of the swords. I'm going to get everything I can carry from Corvo Bianco and sell it to him. Because I... I, I need to get more money. <laughs> I don't have enough. And I'm assuming he will just take anything from me at any price, because he can just make everything, right? I think this is definitely the power play. Oh, my things are in now, aren't they? Oh, cool. So this is my grindstone. Or my forge and grind... This is my grindstone and forge. Oh, look at this. This is nice. I like it. 
I like it. That's very cool. I guess we've got to get more. Um, although, I'll go and try and make a bunch of money. I just want to make sure I don't have to make, like, two trips. You know? I don't, like, go all the way there to the smith, have the conversation, then I can't even make it. I always get confused for some reason with that. Forget that it's in this store. I'll also... Should I get all geared sword? I don't want to accidentally sell it, but I feel like I'd like to use it a little bit. I never really used it, I feel. Okay, so I can't carry much. Right, let's just check. What is useful here? So this is... I want to get, like, the most expensive swords, but I don't want to get the, the stuff that is, like, unique. Uh, some of it I can't tell if it's, like, stuff I've got for quests or not. A forgotten Vran sword. That sounds amazing. I feel like I should just sell every sword. But I'm like, uh, what... <laughs> Are these swords, like, unique, and do I need to keep them? Did I get it from X-Quest? You know what, guys? I'll sell it. I'll sell the swords, but if there's a sword, if there's, like, a sword, and you guys are like, oh, that's, like, a really good one that you got from doing this, and it's, like, important, it's not just some random marker sword. I think I've had, like, a hundred of these, so I'm fine with selling that. Yeah, look, I even have more in here. Um, then I won't... I don't know, I think, is this the one I got from, like, Ker Morn? Uh, because I don't want to sell, like, all the good swords, like, as in, all the swords that I actually are unique. I'll just have to try and eyeball which ones are unique. This doesn't seem unique. I wonder why I would have put this in. I'm assuming because it's worth so much, but it is, it is just the same as the other, like, gnomish whatever. Carrying a lot of stuff. Gnomish Grithir. It's the same as this, right? No. Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep this, even though I'm pretty sure it's not unique. Right, if I've sold anything, all of these have duplicates. So I know everything I currently am selling is something that somehow I've got twice and therefore is not unique. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is make my way to this smith. And this is going to take forever, but um, I will see you there. Okay, guys, we have made it. We have made it to the smith. It's finally happening. All the discussion for the whole playthrough about selling all our swords when we get to Tucson is happening. We're going to sell cowardice. as many of them as we can right now. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. Um, okay, yeah, we'll say this first. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grandmaster. I thank you, Witcher. It's no problem. Oh, level 41. I like it. Okay, let me see what you've got. Uh, sure. What do you have on offer? So we got the man... Oh, God. Right, you ready, guys? We're just going to sell them. And I'm assuming I get, like, the full price from this guy, right? Because he is just the Master Smith. Okay, guys, I have checked everything. What do you have? He does give me the best possible price for swords. Not sure about our armor, uh, armor in general, sorry, armor. But I'd assume also for armor, so I suppose I could just sell my armor to him too. Um, like, look, like this is just duplicate armor. I'm assuming that's duplicate. Yeah, just slightly better version of a duplicate. Uh, duplicate, duplicate. Knight's tawny gauntlets. Knights, just two sun knights gauntlets. We'll leave the armor for now, but I'm going to sell all of my swords right now that I have here that I don't need, which is basically all of them. So let's just see how much I can get. I'm probably going to get all this guy's money very quickly, I'd assume. God, this feels awful, but also, like, satisfying. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Ugh. Sneeze. Okay. Ooh. Run out of money, have you? Take some of my blues. He's literally just run out of money. There you go, take my blunt axe. Right, well, I just got like 15,000 off this guy. But I'm going to be giving it all back to him. <laughs> so what does the manticore armor require? I actually can't remember. I'm hoping I've got most of it. He can make everything. I need dimeritium plates. Apparently I don't have any. And cured draconic leather. I have cured draconic leather. So I'm going to make some dimeritium plates. 
I should probably also make as much cured draconic leather as I can, but I'll leave it for now. So dimeritium plates requires dimeritium ingots. I can make dimeritium ingots. So I need, how many was it? Two dimeritium plates. I literally want to only make what I need, which might mean this process takes a bit longer, but uh, I feel like it's the better option. I don't think the Manticore armor... I'm not sure if it is or not. I don't think it's the best armor. Uh, but I just like it a lot. Right, look, a lot of it is worse than my current armor. It's just better with toxicity and critical hit damage bonus. But I, I like the look. Like, honestly, guys, doing any upgrade for any of my, like, things is pointless because I, you know, I don't really need it, but it's just fun. So, Manticore Trousers... Requires cure draconic leather, dimeritium. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those. I can afford it. Make those trousers for me. So we got the trousers. We got the chest. Uh, gauntlets. Manticore gauntlets. Okay, we need more cure draconic leather. Honestly, I'm fine with just buying it because I know I'm gonna need to make it for the other armors anyway. So we got the gauntlets now. Now we just need the boots, and then that's the full set of Manticore armor. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with... Oh god, that. how much was that? 2,000? You know what? I'm also fine with buying that. I'm genuinely... Because I know I'm going to need way more Dimeritium down the line for all these sets I want to make. So I'm fine with buying it now. Right, we got the Manticore boots. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. I'll, I'm sure I'll find stuff and get more money as the playthrough continues anyway. Right, now it's time for the Manticore Swords. There it is. Requires two Dimeritiums. That, you know what, that needs two Dimeritium. So, let me see. I might just be able to make all that, but I'm just going to check if this requires anything too. Okay, this also requires... So, I'm going to make four Dimeritium. Assuming I can. I should probably deconstruct some... Um, some things that give me dimeritium. But for now, I'll just make... What is it? Four dimeritium I needed? One, two, three, four. And then I can now apparently make the full set. I'm wondering if there's anything... I, can I dismantle, like, dimeritium handcuffs and stuff? Yeah, I do. I have a bunch of them. They give me glowing ore, which I think I need to make dimeritium ore or something. Whatever, we don't need it right now. For now, I literally just want to make the Manticore stuff, and that's it. So, Manticore, Silver Sword, boom. It's better, it's, see, it's worse in some areas, but better in some. And I'm not really doing this for a, um, which one is better or not. I feel like Manticore is probably the better one overall, but I'm sure the Grandmaster stuff is better at the end of the day. Yeah, good luck on Thank you. So... Manticore stuff has been acquired. Let's put it on. Manticore Silver Sword. Manticore Steel Sword. Manticore Armor. Oh. Manticore Boots. And Trousers. I think that's it, right? Yeah, we got the gauntlets on. Manticore Steel Sword, Silver Sword, Armor, Viper Gauntlets, Manticore Boots. So where are the Manticore Gauntlets? This must be these, right? Yeah. And Manticore Gauntlets. Okay, this is our Tucson armor. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. It's the Witch of One armor. <laughs> ah, God. Look at it. Oh, oh, I guess we'll go and sell the rest of our um, other things. Greet. Oh, look at him. What do you have on offer? That is so cool. I'm so glad I decided to prioritize this. Let's just get our money back real quick, guys. <laughs> oh, we'll get a lot of it back at least. We're back, I'm back to 10,000 almost. I actually might just sell this armor too, just to free up some inventory room. I'm sure I'll just... It's not much armor, so I'm fine with selling it. Um, if there's a better place to sell armor, give me a shout, but for now, I'm not too bothered. Um, I'll keep those, because they're actually quite high level. I'll keep both of those. Okay. Well. There you go. Farewell. 
Glad I brought the swords to sell. Look at this. Oh, I know. Thank you. It looks amazing, right? Guys, I'm so happy I've got this armor. We got it at, like, the start of the playthrough. It's literally, we're, like, one main quest into the playthrough, and I'm using Manticore armor. <laughs> I love it. This is all our work, the whole playthrough, just to manage to get to this point, too, this early on in Tucson. Look at it. Okay, right, what's the first quest we're going to do? <laughs> so we have a bunch of... Oh, yeah, I guess we want to do Turn and Face the Strange, right? Yeah, we want to get that done relatively soon. Although, we might be able to do little exclamation marks as we go. Um, I'd like to go back and... Uh, I don't know. Just stood there. Oh, sorry. Thanks, guys. Bloody hell. Look at this. See, he's being nice to me. He's like, you should go and aid the Witcher, no matter what he asks. I want money. Give me all your money. I'm just so happy about this armor. This is like the Toussaint armor, I feel. Ah, an exclamation mark. We can go and do this now. We have the Toussaint armor. Or the Menticore armor. Watch it. No. Holy fuck. Welcome, Snow White. Wish to look over my goods? I'll take it as a compliment. Mind if I glance at your stock? Well, you got nothing. You are a useless merchant, and you will see ya. fail. Where am I going? Where is this guy? Ah, I thought so. So this is p the contract. I guess we'll get it started just because we're here, but I don't think I'm actually going to do it right now. Although it is quite low level, you know, I could do it. Test out the new Manticore armor. Yeah, Tussar is a big area, guys. It's a big area. I can't be doing, like, main quests all the time, but I do want to do one today, hopefully. Um, now I've actually got the armor. That took forever, though. <laughs> it took me forever to get this armor. Okay. Whose notion of order is this? Why doesn't someone do something? I am coming, sir. What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes. And I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? I'll tend to it. How much are you offering? Noises occur regularly. Um, regu regular, regularly? I always find that so regular, regu on the regular, regular, regularly, regularly. Yeah, regularly. Right, whatever. The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, wag! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Right, how much are you offering? Right, we need to replenish our money. Although we have replenished it a bit with the swords. We sold a lot. Got a lot of money. See, that's just what's been tied up, guys. And we have more that I might be able to sell. Right, how much are you offering? How much will I get for this? How much would you like? What? 50 crowns? Is this even worth doing? All of it. What? Much too much. Hmm. I don't believe I have that amount. What would you say to a festival discount? On account of the her. Uh, tourney. Why are you offering like nothing? Agreed. 53 crowns? Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? 
Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. I mean, that's like nothing. Um, it's not much, but we'll do it. I mean, 70 crowns, what the hell? Oi there! Fine, I mean, it's only over here. It's only over here. I'll take no time, I'll take no time. Feast till the wine barrels run dry. Okay. There is no tomorrow. So I just have to look around here, huh? Can't hear anything, but might want to look around anyway. Our blood's worth less than wine. Here lies Milton de Peyrac Perrin. Oh, that's Milton. It's buried here, huh? I wouldn't oh. mind if that beast... Empty wine bottles. Out. Leftovers. Big to do? Not likely. Hmm. I'm considering changing Geralt's hair to, like, the, the Toussaint sort of, you know, incredible hair. Death. The ultimate in solitude and freedom. Should be a price after that one. Hmm. I don't see anything yet. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Hmm, be surprised. You know, you never know. Uh... Okay. Tracks. They just lead into a wall. I'm stuck in a tree. Where, where do they go? Trampled grass and <laughs> bloomers. Oh. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. You never know, Geralt. You never know. Lots of tracks. Not much I can glean from them, though. Gotta come back after dark. Yeah, that, that would make sense. It looks like we found everything. Ah, it doesn't matter if we miss, like, one thing, does it? Oh, hang on. Smashed padlock. Someone broke in. Oh, well, that's, that's useful, Geralt. We found something. We found a smash padlock. Did we miss anything like close to the start? I feel like we got everything. There's something red. There's something red. I guess I'll just stand here and wait till night. Okay. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Anything else around up here? Oof. I keep on hearing things. I'm curious if there's anything up here, if it like a, if there's new clues. Yeah, there is a bunch of noise. What's going on here? Hello. Oh, <laughs> a witcher. There is a guy. Surely he must notice that noise. God, it's very dark. But with our trusty torch. Okay, there is a lot of noise. Yeah, that, that would annoy me too. I get it. Okay, let's put it away. So, noise is coming from here. Apparently so. Should we go down first? Ooh. 
Ooh. There's grave robbers. Oh, hello. Oh. Christ. That doesn't seem to be working. God, these guys are hard. God. Doesn't seem like it. Although that was not easy. God. Alright, let's just get everything. God, there's a lot of stuff down here. I like it. Orders from Robin. The foolish, flatulent, fluffer Bruce, or flatulent, flatulent, fluffer Bruce, flatulent, flatulent, fluffer Bruce, has tried to cheat us again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive, so the very thought of looking at it now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take the jewels, pearls, and other valuables bum nibbling Bruce tossed into her grave. Oh, and if you see the milk sop hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin, P.S. Apparently ever since Selena's death, the kid's been mopping near, uh, or moping even, near or or Lemur's, or, or Lemur's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Uh, perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. Oh, we got another quest in the middle of this. I mean, we'll, we'll go... Should we go and... We'll go... Tell you what, we'll explore further down here once we have done the other quest. Which one was it again? It was like, till our dearly departed or something? Yeah, till death. Yeah. Let me just let me just wait like an hour. <laughs> Reset that. I love white rafts to coction. So good. I'm actually put black blood back on. I kind of like having that constantly just there as an option. Okay. Well, they're in here, I think. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hack's lair either. Mm, I see some things. Could make a bit of bit of fire in here just to light things up a bit. Okay, well it's lighter. I lit some candles. Uh, Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm, noises started right around then. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Yeah, husband and wife, I'm assuming. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. 
No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Interesting. Well, we found... Oh, yeah. And then I guess we should have probably come here first, but... Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Clearly. Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide. See how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf, disgusting. Indeed, far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. In great, I prayed for you that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. Mind keeping it down? <laughs> what are you arguing about? That's what I'd like to know, yeah. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt! And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him! He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent! Once, damn it, and as a jest! How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety! That was my cause! The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting! How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you! Some five hundred times! Quiet. Shut up, both of you. <laughs> Whose crypt is this, rightfully? Yeah. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The decorant towns. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! it all. Had I those very cards at the tournament in Belhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus uh... spoke the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me. Heretic, shut your mouth. I shall speak to you no more. No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart. You know what? While I think of... Should I talk to them? 
I shall speak to no one as long as she is in here. Take her I'm, I'm gonna go and do this quest while I, uh, while I just think about that for a minute. God, that, that is just so much going on. Um, I'd like to take her, but, like, I mean, I'd like to take him, because then I get the Gwent cards, right? But I think I, I can get those Gwent cards regardless, the one she gives me. So it's sort of pointless, because I, I will get them anyway. Like, what, what cards do I get? I get, I get, like, uh, I don't know. I think I get like Barclay Zells and a Brookser or something. Yeah, I do. I'm pretty sure I get cards I already have. I'm gonna go and do this quest because I maybe you have to do it before or something. I don't know. Oh. Sodden letter, ornate key. Letter is soaked through and falling apart. Can barely be read. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selina at the Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too, so don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover, but remember she was also the leader of our gang, and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jeweler Ma Mathenberg's, Ma Mathenberg's shop, so b burying Selina with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion, then you can go drown yourself in a lake or hang yourself from any branch you choose. Robin, Christ. Well, looks like he got killed by some drowners. Oh, yeah, let's put the torch away, although it is gone now. Right, so... Right, I guess we'll head back and, um... Turn this in. Oh. Oh, is this the, um... This one. Ah, I thought so. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that one after this. Because we're, we're basically here now, aren't we? We'll finish off this first, and then we'll go and decide who we're taking. I don't think I need to do, like, necessarily get the Gwent cards, because I think I already have them. In fact, I don't think I get anything if, if I pick them, because I already have those cards. Yes. See, running around with the torch is what I have to do at night time. Or I just cannot see. Um, okay. Let me just go get this treasure first. I'm assuming it's this. Journal kept by Quayle. Qu Quail, a gardener. Oh, there's a cat there. And some diagrams and a bunch of dimeritium, which is good. 21st day of service, so diddling bored, there's really sod all to do here, a quick morning rounds enough to water all the plants, flower bed in front of the embassy doesn't demand much care either, and so it goes day after day, maybe tonight I'll take a jaunt to San Sebastian, play a hand of Gwent. 22nd day of service, Bloeda Gwent, Bloeda Gwent, lost a whole month's wages, next month's too, racked up debts with the Greybill Pellegrim. Heard he doesn't let such things slide. Got to scrounge up a few florins somehow, or this might end badly for me. 24th day of service. Overheard the ambassador give instructions to his secretary. In the coming days, they'll send a transport carrying wine brought for the imperial court, along with some unused operational wear with withal? Withal? Uh, with uh, operational wherewithal. What the hell? My guess, they mean a sack stuffed with florins. Information like that could be worth a fortune to a lad from the right part of town. 27th day of service, Greybill Pellegrim slaughtered the caravan's guards, snatched all its cargo, had the gal to deliver a pouch of coin to me at the embassy, said it was my share. I spit on his coin, but I'm afraid I'll need it. 
um, soon enough. I hid what he gave me in a safe place. Ever since old Ralph died, no one buys wooden plant planters anymore, so his workshop's the perfect hiding spot. 29th day of service. Greybill told me to keep my ears open at the embassy. Find out when there'll be another caravan to grab. As if, um, as if, as if as an afterthought, he added, the guard commander would be quite shocked to learn about my role in the previous hijacking. I stole the next convoy's route from the secretary's office. It's the price I must pay for my idiot idea of going in cahoots with Greybill Pellegrim. 31st day of service. The transport set off. This time it's escorted by Arnold Epp Blum. What's it? Blum. Uh, Blum. Bl Blum? Bl Blum. I don't know. Commander of the Embassy Guard. Greybill's men don't know they're in for a fight against elite soldiers. When he finds out, then it's time to get out of here. Coin I set aside should be enough to start afresh somewhere far, far away. M oh god, how do I say that again? My, my etched. My etched? Is it like... My, 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 I always, I can never pronounce that kingdom's name. I don't think anyone even really says it. If you know the pronunciation, appreciate that. Okay. Well, that was good that we did that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who to take. I would take her. Sorry, no, I would take him. But I feel like. But only because of the Gwent cards. Other than that, I feel like it's better to take her because it's his family tomb, right? Oh. Hello? Come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. We literally just had a bunch of them. I, I do get what you're all saying. <laughs> hey, I have extra potions now. Is that because of the armor? So overpowered, by the way. Ode to Gwent. It's like a song about Gwent. We can read that at some point if you want. <laughs> uh, not now. It's our grave to loot, anyway. No, I'm kidding. That was that was interesting. <laughs> little little event there. Oh, it looks like this. Okay, maybe not. They should just take all the gold coins lying around, you know? And in the, you know, the graves. Um, see, this is good. We're, we're restocking. See, look at this. Lots of florins. Probably need to sell those. Like, sorry, convert them even. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go make my decision. Honestly, not sure who to choose. I feel like I'm gonna take her because I think you bury her in a place that's probably better than this dark crypt anyway, in with someone else's family. <laughs> it's like it's probably better for her to do that. I think she just wants to be here out of spite. And I also obviously like neither of them are really in the right here, but I feel like that would be better for her. Um but we'll I don't know. Right, I gotta make a decision, don't I? Ugh. I think I mean, what did he say? He was like, oh, well I'm just gonna give you the same thing. I, I know where she hid them. She's like, oh, but I feel like it's better to take her simply because, you know, I, th I think you maybe take her to her actual, like, family family as opposed to his family that she married into, I suppose. Um, and that might be better because I'm pretty sure the Gwent cards I get are cards I already have. You know, what? I, I could try and take him, get the Gwent cards, see if I get anything new. If I get anything new, go with that. But if not, go for the other one because I want to take... Her, just because I think it's actually a better outcome. That's literally the reason. Right. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm gonna take. Was it him? 
Well, I had to go at hers and I didn't get any Gwent cards. It didn't seem to happen. So I want to go with the one I actually wanted to go with, which is to take her thing. No, wait. If you truly must do this, then please, at the least, deposit me somewhere pleasant. All the same to me. Where do you want to go? Take me to my mother's grave. It's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls. A lovely spot, almost on the lakeshore. The flora there, it's extraordinary, really. Hmm, extraordinary flora. Where is it exactly? Beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut. The tombstone bears my mother's name. Micheline Belros. To think I failed to heed her when she warned me about that lout. Well, there you go. I guess we'll take her. I've decided to take her just because of what she said there, basically. I, I, I was aware of that, and I, um... You know, I just, I just thought it was a better ending. He gets to stay with his family here. She gets to go and be with her mother. I feel like that's just better. Um... However, I can no longer see the quest. Till death. There, there you go. Find the Bellrose family tomb at the old cemetery. Is that? I feel like that's better. Why, why would she want to be here? I don't know. Obviously up to her or whatever, but... Either way, it's kind of hard to tell who's even in the wrong. <laughs> I guess... Well, no, I guess he probably was, right? Gambling all the time and all that, but... I feel like this way she gets to be with her own family. I feel like it's better. Place Margot mentioned. So where's the grave? Under a chestnut. Or so Margot claimed. I cannot tell what tree is what, to be honest, Geralt. I'm going to assume this is the chestnut. Micheline Belrose. This is it. Wow, that's done. Doesn't seem very safe, but I feel like it is better for her. I feel like surely that's better, right? I feel like maybe we should have put it inside the tomb, but you know what? That'll do. That'll do. Nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. Move along. Right then. Well, we'll go and get our reward from Louise or Lu Louise, which I think would be good. Okay. Was he promised the Gwent cards or something? I mean, I don't think we need them anyway, and I'm pretty sure he won't give me them. Hello? Remove the urn with Margot's ashes, just like you wanted. Louis, you there? Louis? Should have known he'd stand me up. All right, if that's how you want to play it. Could just bring her back, couldn't I? Please, put me back. Yes, I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I've no notion where the cards are, but but I, I shall think of something. Just wait. Got it. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection, a lovely blade, finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Corentin? Hmm, hmm, that could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some such. She believes Trenta no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep doodle-loo. Hmm, thanks.
Okay. Well, looks like we're getting something out of this. Um, so we gotta get, we gotta like get, we gotta go and talk to a swordsmith. Okay, this is interesting. This, this is more useful than the Gwent cards, simply because we already have the Gwent cards. If we didn't have the Gwent cards, 100% would have gone for them. But a sword or something? Okay, you know what? Step one is to wait till day because, oh my god, I just can't see anything. Ah, oh, that's nice. So, I, and then I can blackmail him or something? Amazing. I wonder if I can Gwent this guy. Probably, if he's a Gwent player. Okay. Um, what do you reckon? How long will I have the runs yeah. after that right? Oh, I got no idea, man. The Witcher's not nearly as nasty as they make him out to be. See, this, this, this is the sort of feedback we want to be getting. Right, okay. Let's carry on. What is this? Ah, uh, this will be it, right? Oh, I th think I came here once by accident. Hello, Trenton. The best steel in all of Tusa. Take a gander. Uh, I've come for Louis's sword. Here to collect Louis de Quarantan's sword. Ha! That's rich. The Quarantan's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah, the bum poke. Ugh. Here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again. With Louis gnawing radishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? Yeah, let's play. Uh, I suppose. This guy's, uh, hmm. I mean, I, I will play him just because we will show him who is the best at Gwent. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll serve him, we'll, we'll tell him off, yeah. Oh, we can make some more money out of this. That'd be good. All right. Convinced me. Lay him out. Oh. Should I make a monster deck? I might. I'm going to make a monster deck, guys. Right, I'll be one minute. Okay, guys. I have put together a monster deck. I don't know how it's going to go, but I will try my best. I feel like this is kind of a bad choice. Uh, the reason I haven't gone for Dandelion is basically a close combat heavy deck. The only reason I haven't gone for him is because I already have a Commander's Horn in... You know, it'd probably be better to take out the Commander's Horn and put in Dandelion. Just because it's like... They both take up a spot in the deck, but Dandelion is arguably better because he's also a two, and I'm only going to be doing close combat anyway. So I'm replacing him for him. I put a Skelliger's Storm in because I feel like I have no range cards, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, well, I do have one. Maybe I'll, uh, you know, I'll take out this. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I don't really know. Right, this'll do. I should really have more cards in here. I want to put Regis in just because he's Regis, but I'm not sure. I think this'll do. Okay, this is the deck we have made. Let's try it. So, we want to make sure we don't have any cards that... This is actually a decent hand that I almost don't want to switch anything. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna. I'd be tempted to do a decoy, but this is fine. I'm actually not going to bother with doing anything there. Because it's it's good if... So, you'll see why. You'll see why. I'm going to open with the vampires, and this should summon all of them. Oh my god. Okay. And then I, I can put this on the front row and it, it buffs everything? Christ. 
right, and then we skip. Unless we we decoy one as well. We don't need to. We can use that later. Okay. And I could just open with the crones and skip, but I feel like I almost want to save it. Because this is quite a strong deck. Okay. I could decoy- I'm, I'm gonna decoy now, force him to play, and then still have my Bruxer. Although I'm pretty sure I keep it regardless- I may as well just play a card, and then decoy it. I just make him play a bunch of cards. Yeah, I may as well. Because I, I swear, if, if I decoy... Does it only play them from my deck? Yeah, it's only the deck. So if I were to then be like, okay, and I want to keep him... Although, it might even be worth putting down this guy. Yeah, I could, I could kill that. It's going to be a toss-up between which one stays on the board, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't know if they're going to have another thing with that high value. I'll oh, see. They have to revive it. Okay, I'll pass now. Alright, well, they use their revives. And I still have this and my ability, which lets me, like, double all the front row. That's fine, that's fine. That's better than using that uh, later. Okay. This is, this is, um... Uh, the Draug, but it's specifically... What is his name again? It's the guy from The Witcher 2. It's Commander Vryhorn? What was his name again? It was with Selkirk. Uh, he had a name. It was like Commander v Commander Vry... Oh my god. Uh, what was his name? Uh... Like, v Vry Gift? Vandergift, I think. Vandergift. Okay, right, what are we doing? Um, right, we have a lot of sixes here, so this is kind of terrifying. Hopefully they won't have another Scorch. Thank God they used it earlier. I'm curious how high I can get this, because look, with the strategy here, we can put the crones down. Get all of them. Then use our ability, double them all, then put down all geared and get double then plus one on everything, or plus two, I guess, because then it doubles even from there. That was pretty good. That happens to the best. It serves me right for challenging a stranger to have such a deck. So long. Oh, well, the, the monster deck worked. That's cool. So I got a sword from him. It was called, like, Forged in Fire or something. It looks pretty cool. What does it actually look like? Oh, it looks very fancy. If, if you can squint and see that one. Uh, we'll put the Manticore one back on, though, because it is better. I'd like to do some upgrades on this armor with the Aferi guys, but I think I will do that next time. For now, what I think I'll do is collect my reward, and then I think I'll go and do that Regis quest. How long is Lacage Al Al for, or whatever? It's long, right? Because I don't want to be doing something for too long. Because I'm aware I haven't really done anything significant today. I guess I got the Manticore armor. And I did all this. And I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do the Regis quest. I can always make it a little bit of a longer part. But on top of that, um, I'll be cutting out a lot of the traveling and stuff. So even though I've been recording for a while, it's not too big of a deal. Okay. Hello. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Hey there. I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah. <sighs> to sleep in my own bed once more. The clogs has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. 
One madman especially, always shouting, Audrin, Audrin. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? <sighs> I think we get more money if we say this, but, and oh, he did pay us nothing. But you know what, we got a sword out of the contract, it's fine. It was just, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna lie. Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here, for your trouble. Thanks. 52 crowns. That's like just more than we got from a Gwent game. Although that contract was relatively easy. I'm walking to see my buddy. Right, let's go and see Regis. So, I probably should do that other quest, you know, the, the, oh, should I do the Regis one? It's quite high level, you know. Although we are that level. I just feel like it might be nice to do an actual quest. But then again, we have so many other quests, guys. You know what? Just because it's part two, I'll do this quest. I'll do it. But then I gotta go and do the other quest, and I gotta get these extra mutations. I gotta sort out some Ethereum. Ma maybe next time we won't do a main quest at all. But today, you know what? Just because I feel like it's part two, we wanna do something interesting. Like, everything's been interesting, but you know what I mean? Like, part of the main thing. We'll go and do it. We'll go and do it. So, La Cage R4. We have to go there. Honestly, may as well just walk there. Or I guess ride Roach there. Get a nice look at the Manticore armor on the way. Um, okay, it's actually a decent time. Let's head over Roach. Okay, guys, we're almost there. In fact, we're pretty much go, there. Go. I'm going to get off Roach now. I'm going to walk the rest of the way. Let's see where this leads us. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god. This is not easy. Regis, you didn't pick the best place. Oh my god. This is another thing from The Witcher 1, by the way. I'm pretty sure we fought one of these in The Witcher 1. It's just, he just he keeps popping up and exploding. He's, this is hard. God. Oh. I keep on hitting him like an idiot. Okay. Regis, you need to clear up your cemetery. Okay, so this is apparently where Regis has been making his home. It's a nice place. Um, okay, nice. Regis. Couldn't have picked some other place to meet. Yeah, I'll give you that, Geralt. There's another red thing down there. It's a ghoul. God. Yeah, Regis, you picked one of the worst places, friend. Is there another one of those things? Got him. Okay, that was way easier. I'm kind of concerned to wait round here now if they're just going to continuously respawn. I should probably get that quest that Yennefer gave me done pretty early on, you know, but I'm sort of... I'll do it's it next time. Up. It'll be like the first thing I do next time. I just feel like I should start this. Should we just knock? I guess we'll just, we'll just knock. 
Regis! Damn it. Locked. No way I got the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to die if that goes to full, right? Or I'm going to take a lot of damage. Geralt. Just wonderful. That silver. Look how much my toxicity is going up. God, I gotta be careful here, guys. So much damage. No, 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 we gotta be careful. Shit. Okay, we got him. Got fire damage. Thank God. I'm getting really high. Oh no. Okay. These things are not fun. Oh god, they are not. Oof. Decaying bones. Kikimors must have tunneled into the grave. Oh, God. No, you can't get back up. I was curious about something, but it's fine. God, let me just... Can I meditate for like an hour? I just need to reset all the stuff I have. I, th I think I got like all the Kikimora stuff, no? So there's not going to be more in the future. Good, good. I'd like to get rid of that one thing that seems to keep on spawning above me. I'd like to have a proper look round here. Oh, you know what? Let there be light. Don't tell Regis. We're looting his cemetery. Hang on. We cannot loot this box. 
Ducal Guard stuff. I like it. to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliché can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlaf wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Hmm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out, but Bruxa had taken an interest in it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. What do you want to use the hand for? The ring, what's its provenance? Couldn't you just summon Detlaf? Well, we'll ask all of it. Um, we'll start with this, I guess. I'm just curious. God. This is intense. I like it, though. It's very cool. Can't you just summon Detlaf? You're both higher vampires. There's got to be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort. Absolutely. Last resort? The hell. Why? Uh... There is a being who can summon Detlaf. Possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. But the very act of contacting this being... Well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it would be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It will be both quicker and easier. Fair enough. Right, the ring, what's its provenance? Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen. And the ornamentation. It comes from our home. Where we lived before the conjunction of spheres, it's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here, guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I in turn gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Right, what do you want to use the hand for? The hand? What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kobinares' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Oblitera. There's a copy of Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kovinarius never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Kovinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. 
Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Deadlaf was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Deadlaf's hideout. Brew the decoction. Sounds like a good idea. I think Geralt, Geralt with Regis right here with the Manticore armor. I absolutely love it, guys. I'm just loving this. Oh. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's mamoon glands, but closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. Was that a raven rather a common sight at this latitude very intelligent fowl i asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned him and his brethren perhaps they'll find one in the area and i would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would with all due respect your skills my friend it will take them some time nonetheless so perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake Oh, let's drink. 100% Regis, let's do it. Rarely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? Ah, oh, this is set up trying to get me to confess something. I got a lot of secrets. <laughs> Uh, um. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, you know. So, think you've set a nice little trap for me? Sorry. Wanna get me to confess? Gonna have to try harder. <laughs> I love a challenge. In that case, my ears are cocked. What must I do? <sighs> How about you get the ball rolling? Reveal one of your secrets. Vampires, intriguing creatures, must lead fascinating lives. Anything in particular interest you? Well, I want to know everything. I want to know all of it, you know? Where have you been? What have you been doing? Curious what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, but first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovering. As it is, I still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience, if not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbour's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps a dash. So what have you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after. And when the time was ripe, she came back. Defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh. Seems I certainly missed quite a bit while I was absent. True enough. 
But it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. Oh. I guess, yeah, Regis wouldn't have actually known if we even got Siri in the end. Because, um, that's shortly before. That was a long time ago, if you go by, like, Witcher canon. Right, what is it like being dead? Gotta ask you the big question. One everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? Hmm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. If not for Detlef, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh, experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's, it's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. Very true. I mean, I believe what happened, because I was confused about this last time, and it was to do with um, how when, you know, obviously Stigger Castle, where he died, it was basically destroyed by the Lodge. And obviously Geralt did bury his friends that died, but all Regis was like melted into a pillar. You know, he, he was basically a nothing. Like, Geralt couldn't have buried him, which is what, where my confusion was coming from. Because obviously he couldn't have removed that. Unless he did? Maybe? I don't know. But anyway, right. How are you handling abstinence, not drinking blood? You're still doing it, huh? Got a new life. New body. That give you a new start? Blank slate? Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity's a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. Oh, thanks, Regis. I mean, I'm pretty sure when Vilgefortz killed him, he literally just... It was it was either he turned him into like some sort of molten statue thing, or he just completely obliterated him, or melted him into a nearby pillar. Something like insane. It was just... Like, Geralt was just like, okay, he's gone, type thing. So, you know, that, I suppose, right. I mean... At least it's, it seems like he's handling it well. It's, I like Regis. He's very sort of level-headed. Right, what's regeneration like? Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible. As my presence proves. But, but, I've heard you too had quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. For a bit. But Triss helped me get it back. Actually pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. We vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living higher vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. Hmm. 
So only a higher vampire can kill another higher vampire, huh? Oh, oh god, I just love hanging out with Regis. It's just the best thing. Maybe there's something you want to ask me, something specific. All right, give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? Ha! Huh. Oh, Regis, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I got no idea. If I was... But I'm not Geralt, that's the problem. It's like, I don't really know. What, what do I think Geralt would do? Do I think Geralt would want to be a witcher? You know, I'm just, I'm just like sitting here and I'm just thinking like, would Geralt like to be a witcher? I feel like he does, you know? I feel like Geralt does like being a witcher. I don't think... But I think it's just out of necessity of he doesn't really know what else he would be. Like, what would he have been otherwise? A, a carpenter? If he'd never been a witcher, he wouldn't have met Ciri, Yennefer, gone on all these amazing adventures, had all this stuff happen. And ultimately, he's pretty happy. He's very, very good at his trade. He lives extended life. He doesn't have to worry about disease. He has all these friends with Vesemir, Lambert. A witcher is sort of his identity. It's not like... It's hard to not be that for him. But I'm thinking back to, like, other quests where we've sort of interacted with other witches. Like, remember when we were with Yod Karadin? So he tried to have another life. Didn't seem like Geralt really cared that much. I mean, there was with Gaiatan where... Where I remember after we let him go, Geralt just, like, sat down and reflected. And maybe he was thinking, is it worth being a witcher and all that? Is it worth having to deal with stuff like this? Was he right, all that? I think he does. I think he would be a witcher. I don't see why... I could see him wanting to be like, you know, grow old and take care of Ciri and all that stuff, but she's got her own life. She's special in her own way, and I think Geralt... I think Geralt does. You know what? I think Geralt... He's also... I think he has said in the past that he likes being a witcher, but I feel like the Geralt I've got here, I feel like he's fine with being a witcher, and he doesn't see... He just is happy going and doing his contracts, living on the road, Fulfilling tasks, helping people out, sort of thing, and being a witcher. I think I think he does like it. See, Regis. Doubt I'd know how to be anything else. Ever tried? Seer determined to get an answer, to find out if I like being a witcher. Just refused to ask directly, as always. I like being on the path. I like picking up a lead, a trail. I like the tension right before a fight. And nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast. Even gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah, not something I think about much, but I like being a witcher. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. Ever vigilant, even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? That's an interesting theory, isn't it? I mean, not as far as I know, but I also appreciate the compliment. Th thanks, Regis. Appreciate the compliment. Got something for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. 
It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. What's this about a curse? Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something... <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt, I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse, in one place. That a coincidence, or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Right. Okay. Know anything else about this White? Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Spare me the sceptical smile, I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder, or the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Interesting. Yeah, right, it's time to visit the white, for sure. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? I thought you were going to make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right, good luck. And to you, my friend. Oh, Regis. I want to follow him. I want to see what he does. Oh, he's so awesome. <laughs> I love that he has his home and it's just a crypt. I guess it's a pretty safe place. You know, it's indoors. No one's really going to go to an abandoned crypt. At least for the most part, I feel. I wonder if there's anything else we can talk to him about. Oh, nice girl. I guess we haven't really been through this entrance because we went through the other way. I'm just curious what Regis does. So this is his little, like, alcove -y bit. It's a little distillation-y looking stuff. It's starting to brew. Decoction coming along. Doing all right. Better than you. No sign of the white's brew or its saliva glands, I see. Decoction yeah, yeah, coming yeah. along. Doing all right. Better than you. No sign of the white's brew or its saliva glands, I see. Whoa. Ah, oh, Regis, that was amazing. My last thoughts before, I, before falling asleep is that no death does life exist. Hate is a very interesting feeling. I have noticed that people improve themselves with it to great effect. Sometimes I would like to stop thinking. If I, if if we were to create God, a god as the humans have, what would he be like? This is this must be Regis's thoughts, no? 
People justify bad deeds by good intentions. I'm not sure if there is greater idiocy. I would drink the freshly squeezed blood of an infant. I know I can't, but I hope that its velvety taste will send me to sleep. I strike, I strive to live like a person, and it means that I've ceased to feel good among people as well as among my own. Maybe I made a big mistake. I've always wanted to write, I'm very tired and fuck it all. People don't think about the present, they usually remember old times or worry about the future. I have a feeling that my friend Detlef will die. I'm sad. Yeah, well, Regis, we'll see what happens. Right, okay. Well. Amazing. I'm gonna leave this place. It's been nice seeing you, Regis, but I will be. I'll go and get this thing, I suppose, and then we'll be back to see you in the future. Right, guys. Well, I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Blood and Wine part there. I hope you've all enjoyed. It's been an amazing part. We've done some quite fun stuff today. I mean, we got the Manticore armor, we did a bunch of side quests, and obviously we've done a little bit of La Cage R4, which um, I hope I'm saying right. Well, it might not be, but um, yeah, pretty interesting. I've had a really good time today. It's been really cool wearing the Manticore armor and having Regis just um, sort of there. We could sort of talk with him and... Um, I don't know, uh, while wearing the armor. It just really fits the cutscenes and feels very Toussaint. I'm having a nice time, guys. It's been really fun. But I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Blood and Wine part there. I hope you've all enjoyed, guys. It's been a lot of fun playing today. Um, I'd appreciate anybody liking today's video to let me know you enjoyed it. I want to see the series continue. Comment down below if you have any thoughts, anything going on. Obviously, anyone that subscribed and all that. Really do appreciate it, guys. And yeah, I will finish off this quest next time. I'll do that at the start of next episode. I'll also do some of the other things i got to do, like the, uh, the Yennefer Note one with... Um, what is it? What is the quest called again? Uh, I've forgotten the name. It's called, like... Let me check. It's called... Uh... Turn and face the strange. Yeah, so we can get the mutations on the go. I'd also like to maybe go back and get some Ethereal fairy upgrades on this Manticore armor. Because I, you know, I may as well. But anyway, that is it for today's Witcher 3 Blood and Wine part, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week. Mm-hmm.